Hi guys, it's Laura here with Kira Baby. She's 13 years old and she is a Yorkshire Terrier. And today I'm going to be doing a full haircut on her. I'm gonna start off with the bath, but just so you guys know, um, I already did the prep work. I grinded down her nails and I brushed her teeth and I cleaned her ears right when she got in the van. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to be using Aromatic Shampoo by Double K and I love using this shampoo on my elderly clients because it just has like a menthol smell and feel so I know that they feel really refreshed and good. Um, so yeah, I'm just diluting the shampoo and then I'm just going to go ahead and lather it all over her. Alright guys, just a reminder, when you are washing a dog, it's so important to get to their skin and to make sure that the shampoo doesn't just sit on their hair or on their fur. Here I am gently checking if Kira has any anal glands. She doesn't. And if that's the case, I just stop. I don't try to force it, only because you have to be very careful. Anal glands can rupture if you squeeze too hard. Also, I'm going to go ahead and use a blueberry facial shampoo, which I'm using on all my clients now. I started this in 2021. I just feel like this shampoo is really great for the face. It's tearless and it's also a brightener and it's great like helping me get all the gunk in between their eyes. So I just offer it now to all of my clients free of charge. I'm using a Chris Christensen comb now throughout her face just to be sure that there's no food or any eye buggers or any gunk left behind. In 2021, I have been giving all of my clients facial massages, and I also do these to cats if they let me, but I just feel like I needed to kip it, kick it up a notch only because the bath is the most relaxing part in the grooming process, and I just wanted them to have the ultimate experience. And I know that they really, really enjoy it. Yay, this is my favorite part. I am now applying Artero Keratine Conditioner. This stuff is magic in a bottle. It'll literally restore your dog's coat in one bath session. Uh, it restores shine, it smells amazing, and it makes them so easy to brush. I love using it on Yorkies or drop coats, and I am just sure that when I do use this stuff, I go ahead and I rinse them very well. I don't want to leave any residue of the conditioner in their coat. I don't want them to look oily. But if you guys have a dog with drop coats, please, please buy this product. It is great. I would literally trust this conditioner with my own hair.
All right guys, we're gonna start the drying process soon, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put her on the groomer's helper. I do have a groomer's helper. Do I use it all the time? Not really, I don't really have to. But for little dogs like this, I do use precautions because the last thing I want is them to fall off my table, so safety first. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, my amazing assistant, Mike, is going to take over. And just so you guys know, drying a dog is like a work of art. Literally, it takes a lot of practice to know how to dry a dog correctly because if a dog is not dried correctly, your haircut is not going to come out exactly how you want it to. There has been times where my dog has not been dried correctly and I have to re-wet them and re-dry them. Guys, just look at her luscious hair. It's drying so well. I'm about to do a close-up so you guys could see her natural highlights. Shout out to our tarot carotene conditioner. And let's just remember, this little girl's 13 years old, guys, and she still got it. All right, so before I start her haircut, I took my wall Vera, I put it into a 15 blade setting, and I am doing her sanitary trim. Now I'm gonna move on to her paws, and for this I always use a number 40 blade setting on my wall Barbera. guys I'm gonna use a number one comb with a number 40 blade underneath and I'm just gonna go ahead and comb out her hair make sure it is all even when I'm passing the comb through so it's cutting evenly but I'm not gonna touch her legs with it So when you're doing comb cuts on drop coats, it's really important that you just go with the flow of the hair. Go in the direction that the hair falls and always keep a comb right next to you so you could brush as you go.
so she has a growth on her back end as you guys could see so I'm just gonna leave that area a little longer just so I could cover it up a bit Alright guys, so now I'm going to start shaping her body and her legs and I'm using Salita Shears. It's from her graffiti collection and it's the 8 inch curves. This is the first time that I've ever used them and let me tell you they really lived up to the reviews. She had amazing reviews on these shears and I actually even got the Asian fusion ones that I'll be using on Kira's face so stay tuned. Alright guys, listen to the sound of these shears. Ready? Three, two. Alright guys, I grabbed my guy thinning shears and I always use these thinning shears to thin out the area around the eyes. I never use clippers, I never use a blade. I like the more natural look 
and this way you don't go too short so it just looks all evened out and just goes with the face so yeah I'll link these below Alright, to do her round face guys, I use the Solita Asian Fusion Scissors. They're 6.5 inches and they're really curved. They're really nice, very lightweight. Uh, it was my first time using them and I've got to say it's probably going to be my go-to from now on. Hey guys we're all done with Kira's haircut and now I'm just picking out a bow I should have left that little pin it looks so cute on her but I was scared that it was gonna fall off so I went with the bow option I did put a rubber band in her hair but I put it pretty loose I don't like to put any of the rubber bands tight only because after a while it will give them a headache it could cause alopecia and you just don't want that tension on them uh, so I put a clipped in bow and bam there she is and there she goes uh, it was great grooming her I hope you guys love this video please like subscribe and share if you guys enjoyed it and also stay towards the end of the video because you'll be able to see her past look